But welcome back. I have for you. What? What I think will be an entertaining game. I don't know exactly. What are you doing? Well, I didn't know this happened. I have very little. I just know Hero Marine said this was an entertaining one uh, in his replay pack. I didn't. Well, he's sending an SCV out of the beginning of the game. It is from Mouse Sports, the German Wunda kid. It is. It is Hero Marine. Um. And thank you, Richard Tricky Dick Nixon, uh, for that. For that sum. Um, just a tough crowd here. And in the bottom right. In the bottom right. It is. We're gonna we're gonna go with Sergey. I like Sergey. All right, Sergey, the Grandmaster, potentially pro player, Protoss. But but Hero Marine is already. It seems he has every intention to be proxying. Yeah, this is a Reaper, and then maybe a factory behind. I. So far, it's just a pretty standard gate expand. Uh, from from Sergey here. This is going to be scouted out. When there's not a barracks in the base and there's two gas being taken, you already have a pretty good idea that he's up to no good. But exactly how is he is he going about that? What kind of shenanigans are afoot? Looks like Sergey immediately going to cancel his nexus. Has Hero Marine actually? Nope. He will be going for the Reaper. That's an SCV on its way around. Going to look for that nexus, but he knows... He's been scouted out. He knows that probe is at home. It, it's There's nothing to kill it at the moment. There's enough gas for a factory. But where does he put it? It looks like that will be the intent. Yeah, he drops the factory down. So just the barracks on the other side of the map. Well, he's continually going to try to deny the expansion. Now, the thing with making a Reaper this quick, usually with most Protoss builds, you're timed out so that the Reaper shows up in your base when you're getting your Mothership Core and your Adept. Unfortunately, if you build a Reaper right next to the base... That doesn't happen. There's a single Adept on the way. He hasn't opted for a Mothership Core. Does he want some sort of other tech? I'm not entirely sure. But at this level, he has plenty of APM, plenty of Micro. He'll go for the Zealot a little bit here, and he wants to stay stay away from getting caught by an Adept. But how many probes went down? Just a single Worker Kill, but a good Scout, and a block. About the hardest block you're ever going to see. This is a hard block. Right? Well, he's trying to get the probe out of the way. If he can get that barracks down, this is going to get so much more difficult. He knocks him away. He's trying to knock him, and he gets the barracks down. He pushes the units away so he can land his barracks. This is 100 per I have never seen anything even really that close to this. But the Reaper nade into, well, alternative strategies out of Sergey. He says, if I can't have my net, I'm going for the gold. But the, the special tactics there, he cancels the NG bay. The, the barracks is going to take a while to work through, but Sergey is opting for a Stargate. And a gold base as well. I'm not surprised to see that. I mean, you might as well double down. You need to catch up. Your base has been delayed. He intended to expand. He didn't have any extra gateways or really any extra units besides these initial few. So he needs an expansion. He can't just make more gateways because his base got blocked. you got to find an alternative strategy. And he's taking the gold. On the other side, we have... Nothing was built... Okay, a single Cyclone. I was wondering. Because the factory's been done a little bit. A Cyclone and a Tech Lab. But what's the play here? Banshees. Raven. Cloak is being researched. Does he know about the Starport? Stargate? Well, that's one way to do it. Because Adepts and Zealots don't shoot up. The barracks will be lifted at the last second. The base will be taken. The SCV has been scouted. Hero Marine doesn't know about this yet. And now he knows Sergei is a gold digger. And the cloak. Well, against the Stargate play isn't the most effective. It can definitely, like, if you have an Oracle with no energy for Revelation, or he decides to make only a single Oracle, then two Cloak Banshees can kill two Mineral Lines at once, and there's just nothing to stop them. It's like a Widowmine drop, but it keeps shooting. That's terrifying. But three bases are on the way. He only has a single gate. He does know because Hero Marine committed pretty heavily to going for tech and going for that proxy. There's not going to be a huge amount to be done. A single Cyclone, but a Cyclone doesn't even kill. Okay, two Cyclones do. Two Lock-Ons are enough. They'll run him to the edge with a Lock-On Connect. A couple more shots would have done it, but they hit like 
Uh, just, well, they, they don't hit very hard. I didn't have anything for that. The Banshee skirting the edge of the watchtower. If you look at Sergei's vision, I'm not sure he got a beat on that. There's a Phoenix on the way. The Oracle is still alive and has energy for a revelation. So this is not a game-ending Banshee. It does have Cloak complete, though. The Overcharge and Stalker combo. Hero Marine. Losing his Banshee. Was there anything else going on? No, just a mistake. Not quite keeping track. Not expecting there to be so much of a response immediately as the Banshee came in. And the interception is there. But he has transitioned into a more standard bio play. He, he's working his way. Is, is there another Banshee? He's going to continue down this road. A third Banshee. He knows when you opt for this much tech early on, as Hero Marine did, you can't just be like, now I'm going Metavex. He's up against a gold base and a third. He's down on economy. He needs to do damage, and he only has really one way to do it. It's with this tech choice. Oh, another revelation, and the Phoenix will intercept a few kills. He lifts his own probe! He lifts his own probe to save it from the Banshee! Oh! Oh! oh. It, it appears he does even lift, and what a play! Oh, and he saves all of the probes on top of just slaughtering the Banshee as soon as it comes out. These Banshees are getting absolutely nothing. But the, the one thing that Sergei is behind on is just general unit production. He's been able to deal with these tech units because he's built some strong tech units of his own. He's used them well. He's gotten the detection on the Banshees and shut them down. He's got his three bases up. This means his gateways were delayed. He's attempting to rectify that right now with charge and plus one on the way. Hero Marine on the other side got more of his production up more quickly. He's got some medevacs, and there's still a short time before plus one armor as well as charge lots are completed. So Hero Marine, sitting on two bases against three, needs to get damage done soon. As, and when all these gates finish, when charge and plus one finish, a Templar Archives is seconds away, I'm sure. That is when this gets very dicey and overpowering. The incomes are only close because of mules. That's not going to last. But combat shields, plus one, and medevacs, Hero Marine has a fighting force, but the window of opportunity is closing. All right, the Phoenixes and Oracles trying to find an opportunity, but they will realize where these forces are. Will he look for any pickoffs? If he could get a Marauder, a few Marines, or Widow Mines especially. There is no other detection. The Robo's on the way. You lose the Oracles, you lose detection. Unfortunately, the reinforcement wave not cut off quite accurately. Oh, maybe a bit of a misplay. I'm not sure. There's not that many Marines, but he loses an Oracle. Does he have another one? Okay, there's one more Oracle. But Hero Marine actually just going straight for the gut here. Charge is done, plus one is not. There aren't that many Warpins. There's actually a Banshee in the main. He still had one left over. And this Banshee's racked up nine kills, and now there's only a single Oracle for detection. The Charge Lots come in. The Revelation does as well, but the Widow Mines throw their splash damage all over the Zealots. They will be able to pursue, but the Banshee in the main, the backstab has done much more than this original attack. Sergey is on the chase. He's got a lot of Zealots where that came from. They have their armor to survive more attacks. That's usually the preference if you're going for Charge Lot Phoenix. But he doesn't have detection to deal with a single Banshee. The first Banshee was slapped away. The second Banshee was dunked on. But the third Banshee comes in and racks up 19 kills. The third time, indeed, was the charm. And this is making all the difference. It's now 39 probes, 38. This Banshee doing everything. But in the middle of the map, Hero Marine not paying attention for a split second. That's a lot of charge lots there. He gets caught out some bad force fields, and that happens. But that one heroic Banshee in the right place at the very right time. Now Hero Marine's starting to mine out. He's starting to lose his main. He doesn't have three bases of income. Sergey can still remake those probes, but he has taken a pretty harsh economic hit. He needs to use this army as cost-effectively as possible before Hero Marine builds a critical mass of units and Widow Mines and maybe even Liberators to continue pushing. We're still not there yet. He still has Phoenixes to work with. Guardian Shield, incredibly helpful here. Continuing to lift up, finding some Marauders in order to make sure the Marines die a little bit easier. And oh, a bit of a mispathing here out of Hero Marine. A bit of an intercept. Thank you, Super Doctor. Welcome back. 
There is an Observer now, but those Charge Lots get a little bit ahead of themselves, and they will pay the price for it. The army getting disjointed. If the Charge Lots start to thin out, that's when the Marines and Marauders get a little bit better off. The Phoenix is still being used. Medivac's being cut off, but I'm not sure who the Force Fields are helping more in this scenario. He's lost a few too many Charge Lots. He has to bring them back. The medevac count is dropping, though. If he can't continue stimming, he can't continue winning. He tries to stutter step back, but there are only so many units here. They've only got plus one. He's not getting any additional upgrades. He's firing on all cylinders, but he's going to burn out real quick if this continues. Another shot comes out. It hits the observer. No more detection. And that will be the end of the attack. You can't be controlling everything. That's a mistake everyone's made before, but that's a mistake. That's going to shut down any momentum Sergei had going forward. I have a little bit of mistakes on either side, some missed micros, some, a little bit of poor pathing. But a nearly even trade, as a lot of the medevacs were taken from the skies. The phoenixes survived, that's a key point. But this is Hero Marines, wait, no, he made another command center. He just finished it. And he's lifting his main at the same time. It's 52 workers to 47. Sergei's starting to mine out of the gold. He doesn't have a third of his own. He's going towards the Templar archives, and Hero Marine is nowhere near Liberators or Ghosts which is a key point, and he's going to have plus two armor right now against just plus one weapons for a long while as the armory just started a bit ago. All right. As everybody goes back to their corners, gets their detection, thinks about new bases and new options, and decides how we're going to go about this. Storm is not the choice out of Sergei. He's going to continue on this brute force style. He's not even researching, immediately going into Archons, and those Archons... They're splash damage. They do extra against biological. And believe it or not, Marines and Marauders are very biological. They get close enough. And with the Guardian Shield so tanky, Archons are very scary. Let's summarize that way. And an Immortal as well for that stopping power. But at the same time, Hero Marine is now on two fresh bases alongside his natural. He's on 60 SCVs, and he's going towards 2-1. He doesn't have... He can still get caught. If he gets caught at a weird angle, he gets pinned. The Archons and Charge Lots will just put him up against a wall, and let's just say he won't enjoy it. But if he's out on the open field, if he's able to dance back, he's able to dance forth. That'll make the difference as well. Hero Marine not known for getting caught out. I'm not sure if this SCV is on a, a mission to scout, or if it was just red. I think he was looking for this base in particular. Does he know about it? Oh, he scanned it. That was just a very ambitious SCV, I think. Some more scans. Looking for the army. He sees the Templar archives, but the Ghost Academy was the immediate reaction. Out of here, Marine. Another starport as well. He's starting to realize he needs more than just Marines and Marauders, obviously. The Ghosts are good with EMP, but they're not everything. Liberators are one of the best ways. Even though he has Phoenixes, they don't kill Liberators very quickly. Uh, if he can get some good choke points, if he can funnel the Zealots and especially the Archons... That's a, that's a chance there, too. Hero Marine continually scouting. He's looking for exactly what he just saw. The robotics bay. That's the choice. He wants to know, is there another form of splash damage I'm going to need to contend with? Ooh. Some damage coming out from the Phoenixes, but being returned. But that's the big danger for a Terran. You get caught off guard by uh, a form of splash damage you're not prepared for. Whether it's Storm or Colossi or both. You've been countering and countering the Templar. And then suddenly three Colossi show up and you have ghosts and mines and marine marauder. Well, obviously that's not going to go so great. Oh, EMPs, they land across the shields of the Archons. He tries to spread. Widow Mons will connect. They will be drawn into the Phoenixes and the Phoenixes will be drawn into death. But there's still so much power in this Protoss army. The force fields lock in a lot of it as well. And he's continuing to push forward despite the lack of shields. The armor upgrades are too much, plus two attack was seconds away from completion before that. But the friendly fire combined with the armor upgrades will mean that Sergei takes a strong fight, and Hero Marine is beaten back. He sees the reinforcements, a couple medevacs went down, a lot of ghosts, most of the mines. But Hero Marine not yet deterred, he knows he can't get pinned up against a wall against this here. Extended thermal lance is on the way. Without it, they're still vulnerable to this bio army. Going up and down ramps with those archons is still a, a, quite a struggle. The first liberators have joined the field, as have the first stalkers pretty much this entire game. Those liberation zones form a Venn diagram that he cannot 
find himself inside. Hero Marine is pushing forward, but this, once again, insanely strong. Plus three armor almost done. Blink is seconds away. Hero Marine is pushing hard into this force, but does he have the numbers? There's a counterattack on the other side. The bunker's already set up. The charge lots will be thinned out. No big damage there. Blink is seconds away. Plus two attack is seconds away. So many things are seconds away, but Hero Marine is also seconds away from maybe bringing this home. Trying to bait some of the forces in. Here goes Sergey. He doesn't have the plus two, but he just finished up. Oh, the Widow Vines being drawn into the medevac. Several of them are going to go down. The Blake Stalkers take out the Liberators, and this attack will be beaten back. Those armor upgrades so strong. The Widowmine hits are good, but as long as the charge lots survive, they tank so much damage. But Hero Marine gonna arc out. He has the supply lead now. There's no charge lots or archons in front. Only a single immortal as well. Extended thermal lance not even completed for a singular colossi. And the only medevac gonna go up for a drop. Without medevacs, you can't push. Hero Marine knows that. That's why he's making three at a time. And drop on the side. Ooh. Gotta be very careful about this minefield, but he wants to deal with it before it has time for him to mine. Ooh, some probes being caught out. He's actually so, so strapped for minerals here. That just now started the Nexus, immediately canceled. Return the sender. And this single medevac drop with the autumn colored marines is gonna play a key role in shutting down the mining of our Protoss here. He's been going for brute force. He's been trying to just bully his way through these fights. It's worked so far, but he no longer has the income to support it. And without storms, without things like disruptors, it can become a numbers game. Where Hero Marine just builds enough Vikings, enough Marines and enough Marauders, and he just runs over the army because you just don't have enough stuff. The drop coming in again. Hero Marine building up a potential game-winning force. He's still a bad engagement away from everything being on his production. But this is obviously going to help. More probes are going down. Hero Marine killing 38 probes this game, leaving now closing on 50. Not that he can really mine from all these bases. Looks like the medevac will be taken out, but it was worth it for sure. Hero Marine even targeting down a couple more probes. Starting to have some serious problems here. The ship weapons upgrades, the double reactored star ports are so key. A scan as well, we'll see where that army decides to go. A hallucinated Colossus, I'm not entirely sure why. I guess to make the army look a little scarier as long as it doesn't get scanned. But he's building immortals, he's not going for more Colossi. He smartly assumed that Hero Marine is now countering Colossi heavily. There are how many Vikings? 11 Vikings continuing to grow in number. He's only built two. So the investment in Vikings is not ideal. In a, in a maxed out army, the Colossi are going to die, but then he might not have enough on the ground to actually fight. That's the that's the implication. One Widowmine gonna connect. Help him see this army a, a little bit forward of you, Sergey. Some scans coming out, he sees everything. The army supply is 142 to 131. But those Vikings, the only splash damage without them is in Archons. And Archons can be countered. Mm, this angle, a little bit awkward here. The EMPs come out. A lot of the Protoss army finds itself on the high ground where the Terran is arced out on the low. The supply dropping incredibly rapidly. He brings him around the corner and as he tries to turn it, he's slapped across the face by Terran. He jumps on top, and it looks like throughout all of this, he's been able to maintain enough momentum and keep himself on the other side of the map, which will allow him to take home the victory. GG. He taps it out. And thank you. That did not start how I expected it to start, but it ended how I kind of expect his games to end. That was a pretty good game.